I should have just walked back. <laughs> 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 Ooh, that's yeah, this goes right now. We just found out this goes directly to you too. To you too. Really? Yeah. Take a <laughs> So why don't you give us give us a quick moment on? You arrived here yesterday, I guess. Yes. No, I arrived here Monday, Monday the 25th. The 25th. I believe. And uh, I went into the ocean. I touched the water. I swam. I went with my entire backpack. Um, ah. But my final day will be next Monday. Right. And uh, I'll get to show you. Which is Beautiful. Labor Day, Labor Day weekend. Labor Day. Well, God knows you put in some good labor. I know. Right? You really yeah. have. <laughs> that's a good. Uh, that's a good uh, way to put it. Yeah. You have worked very yeah. hard the last five months and twenty days. Yes, I did. <laughs> All right. Get your. Go. Is that yours? Yes. Go ahead. Take your. Always take your call. Okay. You never know. It could be a good one. Yeah. It's a good one. Yes. Thank hey. you. I am uh, uh, on YouTube, but I know what you're saying. That's why they're recording me, and um, it directly goes into YouTube. Is that going right there? Sure. Well, well we, we got to well, then look it up. Well, then, I think you just did not just your life. I might forget to call, so... Right next. Everyone's got their theory. <laughs> 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 That's very <laughs> good. I'm sorry. So. What? But, <laughs> by the way, did you watch that short again? Uh, yes? No, I've not seen it. Right, but I communicated with the kids. Say it again. Was, kid, uh, was that someone you met along the way? That's correct. Right? Yes. I said it's a girl you met it's along the way. It's a girl I met along the way. Yes. And where is she right now? Oh, yeah. She is somewhere in Tennessee. <laughs> somewhere in Tennessee. It's somewhere yeah. in Nashville they with did, a guitar. They, they keep rolling in. No, it's she in Memphis. She wants to be like Jesus. She just, like, what's that? How does Chine Cove go? She's in Memphis. In Memphis? There's, yeah. there's a song you have to get from Chine Cove called Round Here. One of those classic songs. Uh-huh. And it talks about... Yeah, this girl with the uh, guitar in her hand. I just want this it's to fun. be clear. One, two, three, four, five of them are all sitting down. I'm walking across America. And you're standing. And nobody offers me a place to sit. <laughs> <No. laughs> right here. Come here and sit. That's, I just want that clear, okay? <laughs> Come here. I'm honey. joking. I'm no, joking. no, I know you're joking, but I want you to sit now. Yeah, I, I want to ask you something. Ask him something. Yeah. This guy does a... a they said before. Okay. <laughs> Please sit. Sit first. This guy... Do you have a reality show? Wow. Oh, yeah. Um, two years ago. Two years ago? Yeah. Uh, you had a reality show? I did a reality show. Where? In, through in, internet. In internet. And, and you did it in Chile? In right? Chile, in yeah. Chile. I was... Uh, I was living with uh, nine girls. And what? All, what am yeah. I doing here? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> with five I was guys and nine girls. Yeah, no, with a staff too, like the eight guys and oh, stuff. Okay. The same, the same. Okay. Each, but what were the, people. the girls? Like dating a uh, show, like a dating show? No, it was like a jail of women. Jail of women. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Uh, Please. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I did the reaction, the website edition, uh, and the, the hoster, the wow. host on TV. Hello. You, you were the host? Yes. In Spanish? Yes. Muy bueno. Are you the keeper? Uh, can I ask you something? Yeah, the yes, you can. <laughs> you have the keys to jail. <laughs> what, what's very weird? to meet you today and as here. I was sleeping here and I yeah. you come in. Yeah, uh, and then you told me about the your stuff and was hey uh, yesterday I I I did my uh, I I crossed the whole country. Right. 
and was okay see you later and and then I was thinking about hey he was like thanks mom walking across the hall and it was like wow and I uh, want to ask you why you did it I think I told you this morning didn't I no well, I did it to inspire younger generation and show them that nothing is really impossible but instead of just talking about it and preaching about it I actually got up and did something about it so uh, a lot of in the United States, a lot of people will tell you, oh, you can do anything you want as long as you put your head to it. Sure. Unfortunately, if you follow them around or you are around with them, they complain about their spouses, their kids, their jobs, their life, basically. Sure. Sure. And yeah. yet, if they think, if, or if they knew that you can do anything you want, why can't they like, get another job or, you know, Make a change. Make a change. So Make a change. I decided to do that and earn the right to tell people. You can do anything you want as long as you put your head to it. And if somebody asks me, why have you done anything? I say, yeah, I have walked 3,300 miles across the United States with $217. Two hundred seventeen dollars. That's what you started with. Right? Yes, I cannot ask for any help. That includes, I have an ingrown toenail. I can't get a surgery on it. I can't go to a hospital and ask them to operate on it. I have to meet a, a doctor or, a, or a, a nurse. They will volunteer their time to do it. Otherwise, I cannot ask. Them. And but. Thankfully, with all the help from different people I, I've met across the, the way, uh, I've spent about six to seven thousand dollars. I have not solicited one cent of all this. Strictly whatever the people offer, just like this. I met this gentleman, and uh, Jim decided to basically open the studio for me and bought me dinner, and now he has just uh, fix uh, 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 a job for me tomorrow. So. And by the way, Mike is going to be working, and Ryan, they're both going to be working there too. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> Great. How much work we will get done? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and what, what, what was your job before the I was the a journey? chef in New York City. Okay. But, but the, the, last, the last six months, I didn't do anything. Well, I started a, a, a construction company. In some way, you you stop the world. You stop. For me, basically, sure, stop. Yeah. yeah. And right now, I have a hundred dollars. You get off the world in some in some way. Right you get now, off the I world. Right now, I have a hundred dollars, and as far as I'm concerned, and I lived almost six months and across the continent with a hundred and seventeen dollars. As far as I'm concerned. When you got that right. This idea, right? And I have two pairs of shoes. Well, I guess I have less pairs now because I started with four pairs. <laughs> How many time ago you got this idea? When did you get the idea? Oh, the idea, I had to cross the country. Uh, I had it for a while, but I didn't think I would do it uh, by foot. Maybe uh, a hitchhike or a, or a what? So drive. when did you come up with the idea to walk cross country? About uh, a year and a half ago, I came with two ideas. I came up with two ideas: either swim across an ocean, oh. uh, which I can't afford, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. or this is walk across the country. Afford, you'll be eaten. <laughs> no, because see, uh, crossing the ocean, you need the boat, and you will have a protective uh, 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 metal underneath where you will be swimming. So it will be like, let's say, uh, a twenty-foot uh, uh, cage, basically. And you'll be swimming inside the cage. And whenever you need a rest or a food or sleep, you come back to the boat. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a, a I'm glad you see it. Okay. I mean, it's very doable. It's very doable. The last word to, to people. Wow. Oh. No more tape. Hmm? <laughs> no more tape? No. But, uh, so, what was the last just question? Just get up and do whatever you want to do instead of. Uh, uh, Proxenating and just uh, thinking that uh, you can do it because you don't have money or you don't have the time. Those are just excuses.
if you want to do some